Okay, I'd like to start off and say good morning to everyone. Great. Wow, let's try that again. Good morning. Good morning. All right, that's a very enthusiastic response. Thank you very much for coming. My name's Stephen Bible, N7HPR. I'm a chairman, and I guess the self-declared chairman and, and organizer here. So I'm the one that has been talking with each of the presenters here and, of course, getting the schedule laid out here. Um, I'll have a couple of notes a little bit later. Um, but first, I'd like to introduce Dave Toth, VE3GYQ, the president of Tapper. Oh, that's good. I got the clap. That's great. Well, good morning. <laughs> Not anymore. And Cipro doesn't even work. You've got to go back to uh, Rosef and I am. It's terrible. Actually, I enjoy it. If somebody wants to come in and be treated, it's nice to give them a shot in the butt to remind them they shouldn't have done things they did. Um, for those of you who don't get the joke, I'm an emergency physician, actually. So. Uh, well, thanks very much, Steve. And Steve, uh, uh, you're not the self-declared chairman. You've done a wonderful job getting things organized. And, um, uh, I'll, be, I'll be pointing out some of the uh, people here in a few minutes. I'd like to take this opportunity, though, to uh, welcome Larry Wolfgang, WR1B, the editor of QEX magazine, uh, representing the ARRL at this uh, joint conference. And I'd like to invite Larry to come up and make some initial uh, statements. Uh, thank you, David. Well, I bring greetings from ARL and the ARL headquarters staff. This conference is the 27th conference, starting from the first ARL computer networking conference back in uh, 1981, which oddly enough is the year that I started working at ARL headquarters. So we're pleased to continue this partnership with Tapper and welcome you to this conference. Thank you for your participation. Um, a few years ago, the ARL looked at some visual ways to represent our organization and came up with four pillars to represent our programs. Um, the four pillars that, that started out, you know, you think of four corners, so supporting the organization, we had public service, advocacy, education, and membership, all very important. But this year at Dayton, a fifth pillar was added, and that was technology. And technology, I think, is very appropriate for this conference. And, and I'm personally pleased to see that higher recognition. Technology had always been, of course, part of the ARL's programs, but this representation, I think, is uh, even more significant. Um, we even have a, a, a website, uh, we do that radio.org, which if you haven't looked at, it's an interesting website and it helps to showcase quite a few of the programs and various things that amateur radio operators do. Um, so with that, welcome to the DCC, and thank you. Thank you, Larry, and thanks for all you're doing to promote technology. We, uh, we in this group obviously appreciate this. Um, it's my uh, privilege to recognize a number of individuals who've uh, made this uh, all come together. Um, I must say, in the number of DCCs I've been involved with, and I actually organized one back up in London, Ontario, many years ago, uh, I've never seen such a, a stalwart bunch of locals uh, promoting things. And just look around you, uh, we were commenting today, there's more uh, uh, electronic stuff in here than, than 10 of us had in our shacks combined. So it's a pretty amazing effort. I'd like to uh, mention and, and um, thank Mark Thompson, WB9QZB, and Kermit Carlson, W9XA, who've headed up the effort here on behalf of the uh, local group, and Gary Pierce, KN4AQ, for uh, uh, agreeing to come and do a DVD on the uh, conference, um, and uh, Ron Steinberg, K9IKZ, from Rentcom for the audiovisual setup, which I think is absolutely stunning. Um, we'd also like to thank Joe Lynch, N6CL from CQVHF, uh, who's come to uh, um, support us and uh, has brought copies of uh, CQVHF magazine. You can get your free copy in the uh, registration area. And we'd like to thank uh, some of the vendors who've come. We'd like to thank Kenwood and ICOM, who will be in the demonstration room. Please visit them later. Um, 
and there will be other people set up in there. We've uh, Scotty's got uh, some of the HPSDR stuff set up in there too. So there'll be a number of other people uh, demonstrating um, stuff there. We'd like to encourage you in between sessions to uh, go into the demo room, talk to people, and uh, one of the um, things about uh, the DCC that you can't uh, get if you're not here that reading the proceedings doesn't give you is the uh, personal contact, the networking that goes on, the, the human networking that goes on uh, that makes this such a unique experience. Um, uh, I've, I've seen a few guys here who says their first DCC. I see them all the time at Dayton and I always thought I've seen them at the DCC, but they're telling me this is their first DCC and I, th and I think it'll be interesting to hear their comments when it's over as to what they got out of it. It's much more than just the talks. It's the taking the time to uh, sit down and start scribbling things on napkins where all great projects start and um, exchange ideas. Um, I know I've been involved in a number of conversations here with, with people who quite literally are talking way over my head and um, they don't seem to mind a question. Everybody's very eager to share their knowledge and um, it's very, very collegial and it's a very unique experience. So I think the real, uh, the real flavor of the DCC is missed unless you are here. But just as a teaser, we're going to have things like the DVD available that Gary's producing and uh, hopefully word of mouth uh, from the rest of, uh, rest of you to encourage more people to come. I think uh, that the league is definitely onto something. They've always promoted technology, but I think we need to reemphasize that. We need to um, draw people's attention to the fact that we have to have interesting technology to attract our young people. Uh, I'm personally proud of the fact that one of my sons is licensed this year. He was licensed a few weeks ago uh, when he was visiting his uh, mother up in Canada and uh, his twin brother is working on his license, so uh, I think I've done my bit. My, my dad was a ham, he's passed away, so we're trying to re replace uh, he and I anyway, so we won't at least have attrition in the numbers. And my sons are considerably younger than me, so hopefully we've pulled down the average age of hamdom from 58 or 59 down a couple of notches. So uh, I'd encourage you to uh, tell the young people that are around you, kids in your own family, uh, about the interesting technology things that are going on. My guys are, Computer geeks, they love computer games, but they are interested in ham radio, interestingly enough. I've obviously not totally alienated them yet, and um, uh, they, they've developed an interest, so I'm, I'm quite proud of that fact. At any rate, uh, without further ado, I'd like to uh, invite Steve Bible back up here to introduce our first speaker, and once again, uh, uh, thank you all for coming. Um, feel free to buttonhole uh, any of us uh, on the Tapper board uh, with any of your ideas while you're here or suggestions. I'm sure uh, Kermit and Mark and, and their staff would be happy to hear any suggestions or I would, I would hope they'd like to hear uh, praise for the fine job they've done. But they'll accept constructive criticism uh, too. Um, I asked uh, Kermit and Mark to try to document their um, procedures for r running a conference. Uh, so we'll have that as a future thing to add to our own um, uh, paperwork that we keep for, uh, for the local organizations as to how to uh, set up a DCC. Um, obviously, the local group's got a lot of experience. They just finished the W9DXCC conference last week, and Kermit tells me that they're planning for the Central States VHF conference in July. The dates of the conference there? 24, 25, 26. Okay, July 24, 25, 26. So if you like what you see now in terms of organization, um, mark those dates for next year, and uh, it'll be right here, I, I believe. Is that not right in this hotel, right in this room? So, so if any of you don't want to leave, you could just park your butts here till next July, you'll be all set. <laughs>